NED Framework Core is a very feature-rich library and one of the lesser known features that I want to show you today is query filters. Query filters allow us to specify a boolean expression that is always going to be applied when we are querying the entity that we have specified the query filter on. This allows us to greatly simplify our code and a significant benefit is that you can never forget to specify an important condition is the where statement because it's going to be automatically applied by NED Framework. Let's see how we can actually implement query filters. We are starting off in the gathering repository because we got a new feature request. Our gatherings can now be cancelled and on the gathering we have a cancelled property that is set to true whenever a gathering is cancelled, obviously. The feature request that we got is that you can only read gatherings from the database that are not cancelled. We're going to implement this the lazy way by updating all of the methods that are reading gatherings from the database. We are going to write another WHERE statement here and we want to say that the gathering is not cancelled. So I'm going to say gathering cancelled and I'm going to negate this boolean property to get the expression that I want. With this WHERE statement we are making sure that the gathering that we are trying to read is not cancelled. And also note that when we have two WHERE statements chained like this the conditions specified inside are translated together using the AND logical operator. I'm going to copy this WHERE statement and update the rest of the methods that we have inside of this repository. We need to filter here in the getById method. We also need to add this in the remaining two methods that we have that are reading the gathering from the repository. Now that we have updated our repository, let's first take a look at how this actually works. I'm going to set a breakpoint here at the start of the getById method and I'm going to start the application and head over to Postman. Inside of Postman I already prepared a get request for fetching the gathering by the ID. I'm going to send this request to our API and it is going to hit the breakpoint that I just added inside of the gathering repository. We hit the breakpoint inside of the repository and I'm going to execute this query and then we are going to examine the SQL statement that NED Framework has generated and sent to the database. So we did manage to get the gathering from the repository, but let's take a look at the SQL that was sent to the database. If you take a look here, you can see the select statement that NED Framework generated and sent to the database. The part of this query that I want to highlight is right here. Notice that this is the condition that verifies that the gathering was not cancelled and this same condition is going to be applied in all of the methods that we just updated in the repository. The downside to this approach is whenever we add a new method to the repository or we are reading the gathering from another place, we have to remember that we have to specify the condition that the gathering was not cancelled. To avoid having to remember this, we can use the query filter feature available in NED Framework Core to specify this same condition and it is going to be applied in all of the queries that NED Framework sends to the database for the gathering entity. Let's see how we can do this. I'm going to get rid of this WHERE statement here that was checking that the gathering was not cancelled and I'm going to head over to the gathering configuration that is in the persistence project. This class represents the NED Framework configuration for the gathering entity Inside of the configure method here, I can specify the query filter that I want to apply. To do that, I need to call a method on the builder object. The method that I want to call is has query filter, and this is going to allow me to specify a Boolean expression that I always want to apply when querying the database for the gathering entity. So I'm going to say that we want to have a query filter that the gathering is not cancelled. And with this, we have completed our query filter definition. And this expression is going to be applied to every query that is sent to the database through Entity Framework. Let's start the application again and see how our Entity Framework query is behaving now. I'm back in Postman and we are going to send the same request that we have sent before for fetching our gathering by DID. Again, we hit the same breakpoint inside of the gathering repository get by ID method. Notice here that we no longer have the condition that is checking that the gathering is not cancelled and we are relying on the query filter that we just defined 
to specify this condition for us. I'm going to execute this query and let's again examine the SQL that any framework generated and sent to the database. Here we have the SQL statement generated by NAD Framework. And if you take a look here, we have the same condition as before, only this time this condition was applied by the query filter that we just defined. So this is a very powerful way to specify common conditions that you always want to apply when querying the database. One common use for this is if you support soft deleting in your application, you usually only want to read records that do not have an is deleted flag set to true. If you don't want to specify this condition on every possible query that you have, you can just define a simple query filter for the entities that support soft deleting and you no longer have to think about specifying the appropriate condition for the soft delete flag on your entities. Let's continue the execution. Back in Postman, you can see that we do actually receive a gathering response. Let's now go back to our gathering repository where I want to show you a few more things. I'm going to clean up the rest of the methods that we have inside of the repository. We want to get rid of this where statement here that is checking that the gathering is not canceled because now that is applied by our query filter. The question you might be asking yourself now is, since the query filter is implicitly applied to every query that NAD framework generates, what if I intentionally don't want to apply this query filter? Is there a way around it? Before I give you the answer, make sure that you like this video and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the amazing videos that I have prepared for you in the future. Let's go back to our get by ID method. The question that we're asking is, how do we get rid of the implicitly applied query filter by NAD Framework? The answer to this is very simple. You just need to chain a call to the ignore query filters method. What this method is going to do is it's going to tell NAD Framework that this query should not have any query filters applied to it. Let's see if this actually works. I'm going to start the application and head back to Postman. Back in Postman, we are again going to send the same request to the API to fetch our gathering by the ID. We again hit our breakpoint inside of the gathering repository and watch what happens now. We're going to execute our NAD framework query and again examine the SQL that was generated and sent to the database. Here is the SQL that NAD framework generated for our query. And if you take a look here, where we are selecting from the gatherings table, notice that in the where statement here, there is no longer the condition that the gathering is not canceled. So our call to ignore query filters worked correctly and NAD framework is not applying the query filter to this specific query. For the other queries that we have in the repository, the query filter is still applied. Let's examine one more situation that could be very interesting. I'm going to get rid of the call to ignore query filters and I want to specify a where statement here. I'm going to apply a filter on the gathering and let's say I want to intentionally read a gathering that is cancelled. So I'm fetching a gathering by the ID and I'm also applying an explicit condition that the gathering is cancelled. But if you remember our query filter is applying the opposite of this. It's applying a condition that a gathering is not cancelled. So what is NAD Framework going to do in this situation when we have opposing conditions in the query filter and in our actual query? Let's execute our query again and find out. We're going to send this request from Postman one last time. We again hit the breakpoint inside of our gathering repository and let's execute this query and find out what is going on in this situation. So our query completed successfully, but let's take a look at the SQL that was sent to the database in this situation. Here's the query again that NAD Framework sent to the database. But take a look at the WHERE statement that we have here. Notice that we have something funny going on. We have one condition here that is checking that cancelled is equal to zero. This is our query filter that is checking that the gathering is not cancelled. Then we have another condition here that is checking that the gathering is cancelled and this one is applied by our query. 
And lastly, we have the condition that is looking for the gathering by the ID. The problematic part is this one here. We have opposite conditions here applied by the query filter and our query. And in this case, we are never going to get a result back from the database because you can't have a Boolean value that is false and true at the same time, at least not in this type of application. In quantum computing, that might be possible, but that's a topic for a completely different video. To solve this problem where we want to explicitly specify this condition that is opposite of the query filter that is being applied, we have to call ignore query filters and then we specify our condition that we want to apply. Let's take a look if this works correctly this time. I'm going to send the request from Postman and we hit our breakpoint and execute our query. And let's take a look at the SQL that was sent to the database. So here's our SQL query again. And if you take a look at the where statement, we have our condition that the cancel flag is set to true, which is the one that we explicitly specified in our query. And because we added a call to ignore query filters, any framework will not append the query filter, which in this case is that the gathering is not canceled. So definitely be careful when you're working with query filters. And for some reason, you need to specify a condition that is opposite of the query filter that you have in place. Make sure that you take a look at these two videos I prepared for you that you can see on the screen now. And until next time, stay awesome.